So, some of you may have heard of this wildly popular, soccer-obsessed 17-year-old YouTuber named iShowSpeed. He's basically the biggest broadcaster on the platform, and has amassed over 13 million subs streaming everything from FIFA to Talking Ben to Omegle. Now, he's no stranger to controversy, but recently he found himself in some very hot water for checking what seems to be the final box when it comes to being super rich and on YouTube. Hawking Crypto. Alright, so if you are like me, and you had no idea who this kid was until like two days ago, here is the long and the short of it. I Show Speed is a sophomore aged content creator from Cincinnati who started uploading sports gaming related YouTube videos back in 2017. He gradually rose to prominence as a talented NBA 2K player and eventually started uploading a sea of IRL stuff. From that point on, things went sort of nuclear. Alongside his gaming streams and super candid cell phone recorded IRL uploads, he started putting out music videos for tracks he'd cut, and by about midway through 2021, his channel had started to go insane. Within no time, he was streaming anything and everything to a record-breaking number of viewers. It is hard to overstate just how meteoric Speed's rise actually was. He got really big really fast. Unfortunately, the bigger he became, the more embroiled in controversy he became. Now, some of these were the usual pitfalls of being a massive streamer, such as being swatted. Although, the subsequent handcuffing and placing of speed in the back of a police car disturbed a lot of people. And, of course, there was the time he set off a fucking firework in his own bedroom. <coughs> said, not all of his dust-ups were as silly, stupid, or innocent. Most notably, perhaps, was the ban from all Riot Games he received earlier this year after making a series of misogynistic comments whilst streaming Valorant. We actually made a video all about it, which you are free to check out. Of course, his popularity hardly wavered, and in addition to getting even bigger on YouTube, he's hung out with Lil Nas X, participated in a huge charity match, and become something of a meme fixture in the football community for his obsession with Cristiano Ronaldo and regular mispronunciation of famous players and teams. Turkey! <laughs> we got Coco! We got Coco! In fact, it was that very clout and obsession that netted Speed a chance to meet some of the Sky Sports hosts in England during their coverage of a Manchester United game, the VODs of which were wiped from Sky Sports' website earlier this week after they were made aware of Speed's aforementioned misogyny. And then, to make matters even worse, a couple of days later, he hosted a live stream on his YouTube channel that was simply entitled Surprise. It featured Speed, a Cristiano Ronaldo lookalike, and a boatload of signed people PS5s and merchandise advertising some stupid open world blockchain game thing called ParadoxMeta.io, which the spokesperson on Speed's stream assured his audience was bound to become the biggest crypto coin in the world. Tomorrow morning, ParadoxMeta underscore IO, we're going to be launching the biggest crypto coin. Suffice it to say, this did not go over well with Speed's community. Everyone in the chat was reportedly spamming comments accusing Speed of engaging in a full-blown crypto pump and dump, which is well evinced by the sea of copypastas that sit beneath the archived VOD. Needless to say, Speed wasn't exactly thrilled about his chat becoming downright ungovernable. That is crazy, bro. Like, them comments like that, bro, is making me like, that's crazy, bro. The fact that I ever made, like I said, the fact that y'all like, like, y'all just sticking me like that is just crazy. I hate that, bro. Y'all so weird, bro. He's like, no, they're not using me, dummies. I'm using you. <laughs> if I don't, yo, bro. If I don't, yo, bro. Mods, do something. Cause I'm really getting pissed off, bro. Mods, do something, bro. Real shit, bro. And neither were the crypto bros on his stream, who apparently thought they were muted while whining about the profoundly negative response they were facing.
Oh my god. In the wake of the absolute rinsing he received across the internet, Speed quickly released an apology in a now-deleted tweet before issuing an on-camera apology on a subsequent broadcast. The situation is still unfolding, of course, with CoffeeZilla even going to the trouble of interviewing these Paradox dudes and confronting them head-on about the alleged scam that is their hyper-realistic, play-to-earn, open-world cyberpunk we have at home metaverse thing. Uh, they also have Paraswap, <laughs> where the average user can expect to earn up to 20% on staking rewards, all right? Now, if all of that sounds dumb, you can even get your friends to invest too with, with Paradox Affiliate. <laughs> and thankfully, they behaved with exactly the kind of level-headedness you'd expect from a couple of crypto-obsessed kumquats. Please get knowledgeable about what happens in the crypto space. This so much of the crypto space is a scam! Oh, oh now crypto oh, scam! You can't, oh, you can't. We gotcha! Gotcha! We gotcha, buddy! <laughs> That's what You're a about. Bitcoin hater! In terms of what happens next, who's to say? As Hassan observed elsewhere in his reaction video, Speed's audience is probably a little too young to feel any amount of actual substantial resentment over this kind of betrayal, or even to classify it as a betrayal at all, but they're definitely pissed. As for what comes of it, that is, if anything does come of it, we'll let you know. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit us up on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.